Located in the heart of the San Lorenzo area and just steps away from the Lorenzo de' Medici main campus in Via Faenza, the Sant'Orsola complex is a monumental structure that's been abandoned for decades and it shows. The windows are bricked in and the complex, which occupies an entire block, is a definite eyesore amongst all of the elegant Renaissance architecture and artworks scattered throughout the city. However, the days of this urban eyesore are numbered. The owner of the building, the province of Florence, has announced plans for its restoration due to start next year. The province will invest 46 million euro to renovate Sant'Orsola, which was built in 1309 as a convent and, centuries later, was turned into a tobacco factory. Then it housed university classes and in the 1980s it was supposed to be turned into a barracks for the local finance police, but the plan was never implemented. The site has been derelict ever since. With the high profile archaeological dig inside the complex now over, in which scientists were looking for the mortal remains of the woman believed to be the sitter of Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, provincial officials are ready to bring back to life this city I saw, in which scientists discovered crypts under a foreman church and dug up eight skeletons. The rescue plan for Sant'Orsola makes one wish others were in the pipeline for other derelict buildings in Florence city centre. Among them are hotels and old cinema houses and theatres, military buildings and complexes, schools and other public office buildings as well as factory buildings. If you're interested in tracking down more abandoned buildings in Florence, don't fret. There are many, especially in the suburbs. Check out this website www.esibisco.com which maps them all on Google Maps.